John from Texas Streetcars in the shop today. We have a 1989 Chevrolet C1500 regular cab short bed. If you followed us, you know we love these trucks, and this is our first two-tone one, which I really dig the two-tone look on these trucks. So we'll talk about all the factory options on this, gotta go over what we've done to it. So to start off, it's an 89, which, you know, the 89s are the, still the four headlights, which, you know, when these trucks came out, I didn't love that front end. Everybody wanted the, the 94 up gr uh, grill and everything on them, but this is really growing on me. I think it has that retro look with the front end. This is a factory Chevy grill still in this. You know, you see the aftermarket ones where the bow tie won't fit all the way in. There's a little chrome peel on the edge of it, but overall pretty good shape. The truck is a factory 350 uh, automatic truck, has 308 gears, power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise, all that stuff in it. It has aftermarket little CD player. We'll get to the inside in a minute. But exterior is, the, is obviously the metallic uh, maroon with a silver insert. It is a factory two-tone. You look at the door jams, the RPO code showed as a factory two-tone. Paint-wise, it has had some paint work. I want to say it's all original paint, but there's been some spots that have been painted on over the years, but it does have, wears a lot of original paint. The roof has a little bit of hazing to it, like all these OBS trucks would do over the time. 67,000 miles on this truck. Uh, Exterior-wise, it's got some bed caps on it, bed liner, and uh, tinted windows, that stuff. But everything else is mostly stock. So it has all the trim on it, all the fender trim, uh, factory bumpers. The bumpers are in good shape. Uh, the rear bump ring has one little ding in it, but overall pretty good shape. The plastics are in good shape. Uh, what we did to this truck is we bought it stock and we uh, did a 4.6 drop on it. And then it has US mag 20 by 8 and 20 by 9 and a half inch rotters on it. And we normally use torque thrust on all these trucks. This is the first time we use the US mags. And I really like these wheels. The finish on is a little nicer, I think, than the torque thrust. They fit really good because the torque thrust we use are normally a 10 inch rear wheel. So you get a little bit more tuck in here for clearance. Uh, 275 rear, 245 front. Uh, short of that, the truck has a brand new factory exhaust side. looks really nice. It has had some uh, front end work, uh, ball joints, idle arm all replaced. So a bunch of maintenance stuff in addition to the stuff we've done to it. You walk on the inside, it's a maroon interior truck. It's got, the dash is in really good shape. It's not cracked. It does have one little tiny crack on the, the top of the instrument surround that somebody tried to fix over the years, but definitely not all cracked out like some of these are. Overall, paint-wise in this truck, you know, I'd kind of call it driver quality. It does have some little flaws here and there, chips. You can look through the pictures. Interior's in good shape. You got a little wear on the door panels here and there. But the steering wheel's really nice. It's got the factory rubber floor mat still. All the seat belts still clipped together and retract. Uh, locks, all the interior lights are working. Overhead, the, the floorboard lights, all the gauge lights work. All that stuff is in good shape. AC blows cold on this truck. Heat works. Doors close good. So overall, really solid little driver truck. You know, we love driving these trucks. They're fun to drive, especially ones with 350, got you know, good low-end torque. And this one's not been messed with a bunch. We, you know, we did all the lowering and stuff. Nothing's been changed on motor-wise on the truck. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 254-383-3517. We'll have a bunch of pictures up as usual. Also, one thing I want to point out in the back of this truck, the tailgate band is in really good shape on this truck. We have a super low mileage, uh, 96. And this one's like right on par with the condition of that one. So I always like these bands on this truck. Uh, tail lights are new. The headlights, I think, were replaced at one point. The parker li parking lights, I think, are still original GM. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Another thing, I keep saying another thing, but I do like on the 88, 89s is the no third brake light in the cab. So I think that looks a little smoother on these trucks. So we'll do some more videos of it. We'll go out and drive this truck. So if you have any questions, get with us. Thanks.
right, guys, we'll go drive the 89 around the block a little bit. Uh, the, like I said earlier in the video, this is our first two-tone truck, and I really, really like the look of the two-tone trucks. And they've gotten, obviously, very popular now. The square bodies were really popular with it, and these have kind of followed that that path but steering this truck is you know the front end parts have been replaced that we talked about steering feels good in it brakes feel like you know, your average obs uh steering wheel's in good shape interiors overall we talked a little bit earlier you know kind of driver quality paint the interiors you know above average for one of these obs's that are kind of lived a long life but there's no big cracks in the dash we talked about the one little tiny crack up here uh, door panels are nice. A little bit of fading here and there on, on the door panels, but the steering wheel is really nice. Horn works. All the gauges work. And these are the moon style gauges in here, which I really like the way they look. They're kind of, you know, very retro look to them. But radio works. Has a lot of market Sonio, Sony stereo in it. Turn signals work. Oil pressure is good. Temp runs good. We've driven this truck a little bit. We just had it aligned. We had the fenders rolled. So going over some bumps and stuff here. We don't have any rubbing. It turns lock to lock and everything. It's a really solid run a little truck. And uh, man, it has a killer look. We really like the US mags we went with on this color. They're a little lighter finish to match the the silver uh, two-tone insert. The speedometer works. Windows, the windows actually go up and down really fast on this truck. Watch this. We should have a race against all the OBS pickups because this is gonna win. Door locks work. off the road by this 18 wheeler we'll get up here on the highway for you uh, the exhaust on this is a factory replacement exhaust we had done on there had a little dual exhaust on it when we got it and uh, once we lowered it the exhaust didn't clear so I really like this factory replacement exhaust it looks really nice it's all clean no leaks nothing weird and it still has a little throaty sound to it It does have a steering wheel, I mean a stereo remote to this radio too. It still works. AC works good in this truck. Downshift's good. That's up to 70 or so, track straight. Really good running little truck. So, uh, what else on this? Headliner's really good on it, not sagging anywhere. The interior lights all work, even on the switch. Looks like there's a LED bulb in there. This is, I really like the way this truck rides. Uh, on these, we always use the Megahis, or however you always probably saying it wrong, uh, drop kits on these, but we use the Beltec shocks. I feel like the Beltec shocks are the better of all the lowering companies' shock systems. So I think we found that's the combo we kind of like. We're doing that on almost every one of these OBS trucks we use is that same flip kit, spindles and springs, and then their shocks. But yeah, I'm shocked. I mean, this obviously this truck's lower mileage than some of these out there, so it shows in the steering, braking, and the way it rides and stuff. Not a bunch of rattles and squeaks in here. So I like this truck. I should just keep this truck. Huh, cameraman? Yes, sir. So. Uh, look at all the pictures. Let us know if you have any questions. We've had a bunch of interest on this truck. You know, we posted it coming soon. and We had a bunch of interest on it. So if you are one of the interested people, give us a call and see if you can work out a deal for somebody snatches this thing up. So thank you guys as always for watching. We have a bunch of Chevy trucks coming. We have some of the NBS stuff coming out.